Hey everybody, Shane from Normanist Wright and NSW PEP. I think now we have covered all of the data center thermal and power management basics, so we can start digging a little deeper into some of the topics. So this week I want to start with the concept of bring your own power. So let's get started. I mentioned in the video on AI and data centers that a simple Google search takes about 0.3 watts of energy, but an AI query can take 10 to 15 watts of energy. And AI is everywhere now, even more than it was when I did that video last summer. So the energy requirements for data centers are going to keep increasing at faster and faster rates. In December of 2024, the Department of Energy released the 2024 Report on U.S. Data Center Energy Use produced by the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. It said that data energy use had tripled in the last decade and will double or triple by 2028. This chart shows the data center energy use trend. It went from being about 2% of the U.S. electricity usage to almost 4.5% and is expected to be between 6.7 and 12% in three years. So where's all this power going to come from? So let's move this over and look at it. This is where Bring Your Own Power, BYOP, comes in. The concept is simple. Data centers are looking at building private, on-site power generation abilities to power their data centers. This power can come from natural gas generators, fuel cells, solar or wind, microgrids, and even nuclear power. BYOP allows data centers to take more active role in sourcing, generating, and managing their own power. It allows them to ensure reliable, sustainable energy while reducing their reliance on traditional utility grids. Let's move this over. In addition to generating power, you'll be seeing battery energy storage systems, BESS or BESS, used with renewable energy sources. BESS enables data centers to store excess energy generated from intermittent renewable sources like solar and wind, ensuring a stable energy supply. This allows data centers to operate on clean energy without any grid instability. Another term that you'll hear is behind the meter, BTM. BTM refers to any energy generation, storage, or management system that operates on the customer side of the utility meter rather than being a part of the utility's grid infrastructure. Let me make a little bit more room. So you'll have in front of the meter, this is the utilities domain. It includes power lines, substations, and grid supplied energy. And then you'll have behind the meter, which is the customer's domain. This includes generators, batteries, solar, power, etc. BYOP is often implemented as a BTM solution, meaning the data center builds its own power infrastructure on site and integrates it behind the meter. Let's move this over. So some benefits of BYOP and BTM are that it gives the data center grid independence. It reduces or eliminates reliance on the grid capacity. They can also get faster deployment. They don't have to wait on the utility substation to do upgrades. There's also cost control. They have potential for long-term savings, demand charge reduction, and peak shaving. And then there's resilience. The power stays on even during grid outages. On the downside, there is a high upfront cost with BYOP. And it also adds complexity to the system and additional maintenance. Let's move all this over again. Google, Microsoft, and Amazon are all investing in BYOP solutions for data centers. So you'll definitely be hearing more about bring your own power in the future. Let's bring all this back on screen. So that's the basics about bring your own power and why people are looking at it. We'll get into more of the details on the different things I talked about here today in future videos. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.